in Islam, the job of us or the job of the messengers of God or us trying to fulfill the same message of the messengers of God is not to convince anyone. This is not the attitude that any Muslim takes toward, towards Islam. The attitude that we take towards Islam is, is quite simple. It is delivering the message. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا عَلَى الرَّسُولِ إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينِ It's only upon the messenger to give a clear uh, demonstration and delivery of the message. So it's upon me as, a, as a someone who is acting as a messenger in this case. Not a messenger of God like the prophets or something, no. I'm just delivering the message of the messenger of God. So I'm just conveying what he said. Because he said, convey upon me my message to the people. So we are conveying the message of the messenger of God, the messenger of Allah. We say it to the people, we say that Allah has sent prophets and messengers. These prophets and messengers came in different times, different localities. They had one message, which is that there is only one entity worthy of worship. The entity is not like us as humans. Does not have children, does not have fathers, does not have grandfathers. Created the universe, it gives life and takes away life from people, causes death. And, and it created everything around us and it's placed us in this life as a test. That whatever we do here in this life is a test for us. And if we choose to do good, because morality sources from that creator, from that God, and he reveals us to us. If we choose to do the good that he commands us to do, it will be good for us in this life and it will be good for us in the afterlife. And if we choose to disobey and we choose to harm people and we'll do evil, there will be consequences in the afterlife for these actions. So this is essentially the message of Islam. And these prophets and messengers bring revelation. And within that, that revelation, there is the guidance and teachings and telling you what will happen in the future and what will happen to you when you die, etc. And this is the message of Islam. And we deliver that message to the people. And this is our job as Muslims. But trying to convince people, I believe, is all already a, an incorrect attitude to take to anything. People have to have genuine interest in whatever the, it is that they're approaching. They have to have genuine interest, have to be sincere, and they have to look and research 